Oh, it's got writing all over it. Oh boy, you got an emblem. Is that what that is? Yep. I wonder if it's the New Hampshire State Seal. Oh wow, that's in great shape. Yeah, it's stamped in, whatever it is. Yep, I think I think that's what I dug. Uh, I dug uh, one last summer and the other half years before at the same site. It's got the uh, New Hampshire, you know, like boat on it. All right. Well, let's give it some uh, light. Yep, I dug the same exact one, except mine is missing that little tab up there. It's uh, all of a culture. Yeah, it's got a boat with a. Uh sun scene on it oh yeah it's a beautiful culture as he just oh, said yeah. all right everybody well that's how we begin we just walked one hour out to this cellar hole Wainos walks right in weep 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 bam stay tuned <laughs> Coin. Is it really? Yeah. Looks kind of small from here. That's what she said, right? <laughs> Queedy. <laughs> well, that's how DC starts. A 1945 wheat penny. Right in the lip. Interesting. All right, Wayne, what's the runner up? Pork chop. Beautiful. Okay, so in between going back and forth with Wainos a couple times. I came back over to where my weedy was, right here. And there was another signal in there. I didn't film it. I just figured I'd get the ground open. Oh man, what is that? It almost looks like a, a steering wheel off a tractor. It uh, only rang up in the 50s. That's different. Back to the Wainos. Oh! Pretty shiny. Yeah, nice plated spoon. Very good. Yeah, definitely. Couldn't find the rest of it, but I did get two other nails out of the ground, so helps the environment out. Either way, pretty good so far. No doubt these people were here pretty late. Yeah, but I there's tons of targets everywhere yeah I think the uh, I think the weedy was a travel through yeah I think so right. nice good job thanks hey hi so I just dug this thing and we've seen these before it's some sort of top to a bottle or yeah something I dug that over there and uh, I do have something with slightly more tasty numbers oh good yeah I've uh, covered a lot of acreage in this here side yard. There's a bunch of flashing and stuff. Oh, this, that's a good sign. It's deeper than the other stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, that's... Oh, it's not a casing. No, it's not. It's a... It's a something else. It's solid on both ends. And heavy. What is that? I don't know. I thought it was a... Me too. Is it a container or is it two? Oh, it is a casing. It's two casings together. It is. You can see the text on this end. Somebody just jammed that in that end. You know what though? It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like trench art. Yeah, it is. I'm going to keep it. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody did that a long time ago for whatever reason. Yeah, that's that's actually a an acceptable uh, ammunition find other than like you know musket balls and stuff yeah 
I'm I'm pleased with that. Nice. I'm surprised it was quite that deep, but yes, I'll cool. take that. Yeah. Some excitement up there, and I get a signal. So let me get mine out real quick. We'll go see what Wainos is all excited about. Oh, nice. I am assuming by the amount of holes on the top of that, that is a pepper shaker. Could be salt. Generally, the pepper has more holes in it. Very cool, and I am just Kind of off in the side yard in the midst of the rocks and lumps. So that is very cool and I'll take it. We don't find too many of those actually. All right, let's go see what he's got. So where Wainos is, I must admit I walked through. He's on the lift of the cellar hole. It's a built up corner and I was picking up flashing and stuff and Boy, did he snipe it just right. And you can see right here, he's actually in the corner. And what rolls downhill? This is what I did. I pushed on the plug and it kicked it right out. Oh, man. That's an old one. Yep. Yes. Damn. Nice job, Wayne. Look at the shank on that thing. <laughs> right. That's a proud shank. Nice, good job, man. Good for you. Yeah. Well, you said check around the lip, and that's where I'm heading. <laughs> All around here. Because you're using the five inch today. Yeah. Yep. Today we got the little hockey puck. Last time was the oval. Neither one of them have steered me wrong, but you know, this season I'm like mix it up a little bit. Absolutely. Why not? Well, that's kind of cool, and I just kicked that actually right out of the leaf cover. Old shovel handle. Very neat, actually. I'm going to take that with me. Accompanied by the new shovel. Let's see if I can get the rest of it. A, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's a, I think that's a lantern piece. with a little diamond uh, fancy on it. He's also got a rosette, too. That's what I was thinking, but it's got the iron on it. Yeah, right. There's a nail. I guess that was it. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Goal achieved. Whew. Oh, yeah. Crowd shank. <sighs> a button. I've been beating the hell out of this yard. Right. Yeah, there it is. It sounded just like the two pieces of foil, actually. It was ringing up in the 40s. And uh, cracked it open, 61. Kept on going. Nice. Yes. As people have uh, probably learned, the one goal, we got to get a button out of the site. I Hopefully one it. for everybody, but you know, as long as one is achieved. Yeah. There's hope. Yeah, so far, not bad. Not bad. No real old stuff. I think this is probably, you know, pre-1810, but, or maybe 1820s, but it's, uh... Buenos is Crotobel's old. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. got the mighty shank and... <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, Dame, as we just walked away from his button, was like, I got to stick it in there. Hmm. I'll dig it out. A little tiny now. Oh yeah, it's a ton of these little finished nails. Boy, right. though, what a little chamber, you know? Yeah. I was hoping some kid hid some things in there. Right. All right, put it all back together, nice and pretty. Okay, well that was fun. We found things, all of us, but this is what we're contending with basically outside of the immediate area. So we're going up further. 
Let's see what's there. This this whole area that we've been working recently, we got to put off till the fall <laughs> when it doesn't look like uh, the Amazon. So see you shortly. A big chunk of lead. What's a ninety-three? You're getting a ninety-three? Yes. Out of the uh. In the in in the in the in the pile. I've never seen a 93 on these machines. No. It started out as an 87 before I dug it. Well, there's been tons of flashing and sheet metal, but... Ooh, what's that? It's a big coin. It's a big coin. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed already, Dane, because we've been here 10 minutes and uh, I've dug 10 pieces of lead and flashing. And that's thick. Why did it ring up so high? Oh boy, what is this? Oh, I see a wreath in there. It is crusty. So we gave it a brushing and even with light, we're not convinced it's a large scent. It seems to be thicker, a little bit larger in diameter. If uh, Dame figures that out and gets us pictures, obviously we will show you now. But the fact it rang up in 87, it's like pure copper. Wow. I'll take this. Good for job, sure. man. yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Mission accomplished with cloth. With what? Cloth. Nice. That's even better. Yep. So there we go. Beautiful button with a layer of cloth still intact. Always an awesome thing to find. Buenos, right outside the lip. Yep. There you go. Very good. Definitely. Another button. Did he just say another weird coin? Wow, damn. Okay, so. Oh, it is an Indian. It is an Indian. It just seems. She looks weird. I guess it is an Indian. Yeah, is your one cent? Yep. There she is. Wow. Yeah. Coins. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Good job, jeez. <clears throat> Took me forever to pull it out of that hole. <clears throat> We're finding things. Sure is. You got another button? Yeah. Good. So we actually just moved over to the next cellar hole. It was right there. The other one was uh, pretty good, actually. Hey, let's check this out before the day gets too late. And I got something. I've got a button with a nipple. Nice. So as I'm pulling my button, Dame's like, I got one. It's I swear he said it's ringing up 1971. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Yeah.
Jeez, they got confusing and t difficult to be if the VDI had four oh. numbers. Oh, a knob! It's a knob! Good job on the knob! Yeah! Good deal! I like it! Right in the lip, too! Yep. Of course, ox and... Well, like I said, <laughs> guy comes up for his uh, lunch sandwich and he brings old Bertha with him and yep. parks her out front while he goes in and eats. <laughs> Two threaded things. Yep. This one <laughs> might be a grommet. Right under the leaves, didn't even have to dig. Right. Beauty. Big old green spoon bowl. Over by the wall, the tree, the hole. Yeah, I figured I'd be a glutton for punishment. Right. Oh yeah, right under that claw. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm still, I'm still right wall of root there. I think I got to the bottom of the root. That root is that thick. wall all the way down. <laughs> Two by six. Yeah. It's a four by six actually. But it is underneath. It's tough. Did you try it in all metal mode? No I didn't. Maybe we'll do that. It's still up there. And it's super low, low on the iron meter. I noticed that brass rings up with two notches on the iron meter. Hmm. Well, now you're committed, I mean. <laughs> it is a... We all want to see what it is. Even if it's garbage. I'd rather it not be garbage, though. Well, I can see through from this side. Yeah. But it's it's about five inches that way through that. I can't believe it's not pottery. Wow. <laughs> way down under. Well, you're at like 25 minutes, so you know I've been filming in blocks for five minutes. Great. Sounds like something now. Yeah, it is a rock in my way. It looks like it pinpoints behind the rock. Yeah, you keep digging. I got battery flash. I gotta just switch out. Alright. Alright, well no exaggeration. We're 30 minutes in to this. <laughs> I'm stumped. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, she white from up here. Yeah. Or hopefully. Probably the sunrise on the other side of the earth. Right. Look at silver. Wow. Yeah, there's something. Way down there. Jeez. It's just teasing me now. It's like, hey, we'll throw some relics at you. That is a heartbreaker. Well, he gave it 30 minutes. He tried. Yep. We we all tried to get in there a bit and... Ain't happening. Whatever it is, it'll be there next time. Awkward. <laughs> From sitting on your leg for <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> Your leg ain't working. Ouch. <laughs> Think it's only a, what, hour and 15 minute walk? <laughs> You'll work it out. Ow. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, today was 
it was actually kind of a scouting day. We wanted to get all the way up into this area to see how it was, and apparently it's decent. Yeah, it, it is. has not been pounded out because we found things at the three sites we went to. Yeah, mm -hmm. decent things too. Yeah, so we know definitely we're going to come back, but we are at the hour and 15 minute hike out point so that's why we kind of bounced around still cramping no i thought i had a something crawling oh uh. <laughs> anyways we'll see you next week till then stay young and always keep them guessing get out and dig something live free or die folks and go for those signals <laughs> <laughs> know when to fold them